Hey guys, welcome back! Before Splinter Cell and even Metal Gear Solid stealth type of games, there was The Great Escape on the ZX Spectrum, slightly based on the 1963 blockbuster movie with the same name. The main goal is to escape from a German POW camp, but as simple as it may sound, that task needs serious thought and patience. Let's take a look. One freaking cool scene that remains in my conscience is the one of Steve McQueen riding his motorcycle and jumping over a fence. There was something that every small boy would dream on doing and later receive visits on an hospital bedroom. The Great Escape was developed by Denton Designs and published by Ocean Software in 1986 for DOS, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC and the ZX Spectrum. This arcade adventure game with a slight stealth flavor takes place in 1942 and puts us in control of a POW somewhere in northern Germany. In this quite unique single stage game, you need to follow a certain strict routine along with all the other prisoners. You could just watch your character go off to his daily business. Let go of the controls, sit back and enjoy. But this is a computer game and it asks for human interaction, so let's jump right in. Now about the daily routine, we must attend the morning roll call in front of the German officers, report to the canteen for breakfast, lunch, do some exercise on the yard, dinner and, at the end of the day, attend the evening roll call and return to the hut for another night under the sheets. It's here where you need to start to explore your surroundings if you really want to escape from that dreadful routine. Look carefully around you and you'll find a stove in the corner which, when pushed aside, reveals a secret tunnel. But it's too dark to explore though, you're gonna need a source of light. And this is just the beginning of our quest. The flying flag from the pole to the left of the main play area serves a number of functions. The higher the flag flies, the higher the morality of the central character. Getting red cross parcels or picking up or using an item of escape equipment, the morale improves. Morale is lowered with searches and arrests and gradually diminishes as time elapses. When the flag reaches the bottom, you're forced to start a new game. While the flag is green, you have limited control and you can only be searched by the camp commander. When you break the routine, the flag turns red and you're able to pick up and drop objects. Once you've learned all the moves and routines of the camp, it's time to get your hands dirty. The Great Escape is all about finding objects, keys, torches, tools, etc. Remember to have safe hiding places to drop all the objects you need for the escape. If the guards find any object, they will confiscate and return them to their original location. Avoiding the guards is rather simple. Just keep out of their line of sight and they won't notice you. During the night, powerful searchlights scout the camp and prisoners outside the huts get arrested on sight. Hmm, maybe wearing a German uniform might help in this situation, don't you think? Points are awarded for escape attempts and for collecting and using objects. There are various routes to choose each needing its own type of equipment and, once you've got everything, you just wait for night to fall and away you go. Once outside, you'll need a compass and some papers or you won't get very far. 
The whole game generates a very real atmosphere of actually being there and sometimes you do get very nervous if you're stuck somewhere when the roll call bell sounds. In 2003, a new game based on the Great Escape movie from 1963 was released for Windows, PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox. Sadly, it felt somewhat unfinished and received poor reviews from critics all around the world. This version of The Great Escape was considered one of the best games ever made for the ZX Spectrum. The DOS version was also extremely playable, but the simple sound effects from the PC speaker and the lack of color made it boring after a bit. The Great Escape is a brilliant game in both concept and design, and the non-linear gameplay and its isometric perspective was, in 1986, something totally new. Hope you enjoyed this retro review of another great gem of the ZX Spectrum. If you missed my other videos, please take a moment and click one of those two examples on the center of the screen. If you want more of these in the future, just subscribe. You'll be notified when a new video becomes available. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Hey guys, welcome back! Before Splinter Cell and even Metal Gear Solid stealth type of games, there was... <coughs> like Metal Jesus rocks. Peace, man.